This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and we are back in the studio. I have my co-host, Robbie Hull, with me. Thanks for joining us, Robbie. I'm glad to be here. Season 7, we're back at it. Season 7, we actually have guests in the studio today. So the show is yours. Who have you got with you today? Thank, thanks for joining us today, Nick. We are going to talk about our event and our Smith Falls Reno hunting team today. We we are going to talk about our event of the Smith Falls Reno will be playing the, with the Toronto Maple Leaf alumni and we were where, when will that happen? So the game is happening on Saturday, September the 17th at uh, 6 p.m. here at the Memorial Community Center in Smith Falls. Who are of the Toronto Maple Leaf alumni players that will be there? Well, we're still uh, announcing on our, our Facebook page, the Smith Falls Rito's Facebook page, uh, the players that are coming. Uh, some of the ones we have announced, uh, Gary McAdam, a former NHL All-Star from Smith Falls, uh, Rick Vive, uh, Todd Gill. Um, so we'll be making those announcements and we have some premier players that we'll be announcing uh, at the end of this week. There will also be a meet and time to talk to the players. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so there will be a, a meet and greet happening over across the road at uh, Boston Pizza, our, our main sponsor. Um, they're hosting that event. It's at 4 p.m. The last time I checked, there was only 40 tickets available for the meet and greet uh, left available, sorry. Um, and those tickets are $100. How long has this yearly event with the Toronto Maple Leaf alumni team been going on? Uh, it's been about a year. I was uh, approached to, to host this event here in Smith Falls, and our owner and GM, Rusty MacArthur, is a, a huge uh, Toronto Maple Leafs fan. So it was kind of a no-brainer to get him involved, and he's, uh, he's run with it. Um, we felt it was in the hype of COVID when we were approached and we felt coming out of COVID that it was a great opportunity to have a, a key event in the town and it's really taken off. We, it's not just the town, it's from our ticket sales, we see it's most of the valley coming. So it's nice to have everyone coming back and congregating uh, for this event. You can go to both the game and meet and greet or you can go to just the game. How how do you get the tickets? Yeah, so you can yeah, you could choose your tickets. So we have our general admission tickets. Uh, so that's just for the game, and they're twenty dollars. Uh, you could purchase those at the door or in advance um, at TicketPlease.ca. If you don't have the means for a computer or access to one, you can also call 613-485-6434. Um, and the same goes for our, our, our meet and greet tickets. Uh, they're $100 and you can purchase those in advance. And I, I believe there's uh, 40 of those tickets left available. Let us talk about our Smith Falls Rios team. When, when, when do they start playing again? Uh, well, we've already taken to the ice. Uh, we had our, our, our conditioning camp and our camp, um, and we have our exhibition game happening this Saturday at 7 o'clock against Deserano. Um, and then this is kind of a great event for us. It's starting at the start of our season on the 17th, where we can kind of meet as a group, um, kind of kickstart with a fun uh, event with the team, do some team bonding, and then I believe it's the 24th is our first home game against Tweed at uh, 7 p.m. at the community centre as well. Who is the captain this year? Well, it's, it's your favorite player. Uh, I think uh, the town's favorite player, Brett Costello. Um, and we have our same captains, uh, uh, Brett Van Straal and Mike McKenney and uh, Eric Witzel as our assistants. Who are the coaches this year? <laughs> A fan favorite again, uh, Jamie Axford will be back at the, the helm and uh, his assistant is JJ Roden. 
Who are some of the players this year? Uh, we have some exciting uh, local players coming back. The McKenney brothers, Andrew, who led our, our team in scoring. Uh, Mike McKenney. Uh, we have Tate Leeson jumping on board this year, a, a former Bear. Um, a lot of great local local players and players that have passed through here. How how do you get tickets? Uh, yeah, again, tickets are, are still available online at uh, ticketplease.ca or you can contact that phone number at 613-485-6434 or general mission tickets will be available at the door the day of. Can, can you tell us again how do you get tickets to the Rito's and the Twitter Maple Leaf Alumni event? Yeah, at uh, ticketplease.ca. Uh, you can get that link on our Facebook page, Smith Falls Rito's um, on Facebook. Uh, we're trying to stay up to date with uh, different things that are happening, or you can contact that phone number at 613-485-6434. Is there anything you would like to say before we wrap up? Yeah, I guess uh, the main thing is it's it's an event that's put on by our sponsors. We, you know, our sponsors stepped up. It was the hype of COVID when we br brought the Ritos back to town, um, and they're the ones that you know uh, were the ones that paid our bills and uh, floated along so we could bring this great hockey team back to our community. Um, so with that, this year we've included the alumni game in their sponsorship. So we just want to give a big thank you to our, our sponsors again. Thanks for joining us today, Nick, and bless of luck this coming season. Thanks, Robbie. I know Robbie's a big fan of, of the Ritos, too, yeah. so this is a, a great event. We're looking forward to it. I know in terms of the meet and greet, I'm really looking forward to meeting Gary McAdam. He was actually my next door, backdoor neighbor, actually. Really? So, yeah, that we grew up together. So talk about local. Yeah, since we made that announcement, we've had lots of uh, great stories and different people talking about uh, coming to the event just to see Gary. So. We're lucky that he, he jumped on board to come and be a part of it. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. You're good to catch up with him. I don't know where, even where he is anymore, yeah. so it'll be great to catch up with him. Absolutely. And you still have people coming in, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. So uh, with the Leafs, they like to uh, create some hype over it. So they're slowly making an announcement on who our players are. And then our, our premier players, so the, the more you know, bigger names, will be announced uh, within the next week. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, this is this is great. We're looking forward to our season with our Smith Falls Ritos, but this is a great event too. Yeah. Uh, it's so nice. We're we're back in the studio again. We're back together after. Well, this we still have to be careful, but yeah. uh, after COVID, uh, it's so nice to be able to get together and, and talk about these kinds of events again too. Yeah, we're looking forward to the season, and hopefully, we can bring a, another competitive year. Um, and you know, we have big shoes to fill, finishing first last year, so. Um, hopefully we can do that and bring some good hockey to the town. Yeah, and you're just in training right now? Yeah, yeah, exhibition game this Saturday, so uh, we'll see how that... Uh, Back on the ice, remember where you have some muscles you forgot you had? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you put them or pull some. You're a dad, you've got lots of muscles. You got, yeah. <laughs> you're using a lot of muscles playing for sure, yeah. for sure. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Nick Pilon with the Smith Falls Ritos and Robbie, Robbie Hall, my co-host. Thanks for joining us again. Season 7, here we go.